Good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Southern Santa Piper. I'm really happy that today is Merchant Service Monday, so I'm going to be talking about my favorite pipe shape, and I'm going to seem fanatic about this because I love them so much, and that is the Bing. The Merchant Service Bing in the standard, to me, is the standard from which all pipes should be judged. Bottom line, period. The bottom line from what all pipes should be judged by, in my humble opinion. It's the standard because it's the standard. It raises the bar of a great smoking pipe. I love the standard so much that I don't have one. I don't have two. I've got three in Sandblast. Let me show you these buttes. One of these I purchased, one my daughter did for for my Christmas slash birthday present. And she was like, Dad, why did you get yourself one? It's like, sweetie, they just released them and I'm not taking a chance. Well, she dropped Greg a message through Instagram, says, hey, pick out a nice one for my dad. And he did. She's like, well, Dad, you can return them. He's like, I don't want to return them. It's hard for this camera to pick up, but they're actually two different colors. One is slightly different. And why is that? Well, Briar's going to react differently to uh, whatever is put on. To my knowledge, that there is no additional coloration or finish on these except for a very thin coat of shellac and this is their natural finish and again the greens and the blast are simply amazing fit and finish I've heard one reviewer when I first started investigating these talk about that he didn't feel that the band was finished properly hogwash hogwash Every example I have is absolutely perfect. Um, great, fantastic pipes. So let's get back into this. Mm. Smoking a little bit of that Star of the East again flake. Just a beautiful tobacco. Nice English blend. So let me give you a little story on, on how I started developing a love for beings. I was never a straight pipe guy. Always kind of a bent shape. Kind of like that Sherlock Holmes look. I like gourd pipes and bent pipes. Kind of that uh, swan neck from like the old Dunhill LCs. To me, that was that archetypal, traditional pipe look. And I didn't see much appeal to these, except for the Bings. I used to see Bing always, all the photos of him in this pipe. And to me, it was a very classy and elegant pipe. But I think that's part of the reason I never seen myself in that. Most of my life, I was a blue-collar guy who had worked his way up in the air conditioning business and eventually ran... Um, an air conditioning shop. So, I had thought of these particular pipes as maybe a little bit more dressy, something I wouldn't want to use every day. What I have found out about these pipes is once I tried one, is that they are the smoothest smoking pipe I have ever smoked. It cools down the tobacco properly. It clenches effortlessly in one's mouth. And just the way that the smoke comes through here is just amazing. Perfect draw. Mm. 
just absolute perfection. There is effortless draw. I don't like a pipe where I feel like I have to suck through a straw. One of the reasons I don't have a big load of filter pipes myself. So when I first started investigating beings and when I did a Google search for being pipes, of course I was found the Salvinelli being style like everyone sees. I had purchased a Salvinelli Clark's favorite, which was a beautiful shaped pipe. Felt comfortable in the hand, bowl size, even though the bowl is smaller than my typical size bowl that I like. Um, it is definitely, it was much closer in size to one of these. So, bowl size, and you know, Bing's mentioned himself, you know, he liked a, a billard, pencil shank billard for several reasons. He didn't want too large of a bowl. He wanted something lightweight. He was an avid golfer. Something not to interfere with his golf swing. Something that was lightweight and easy to carry. So as I'm finding, I'm finding the Salvinelli. And I wasn't crazy because the Salvinelli did not look like a being. It did not have that classic straight line. The same type of very thin pencil shake. I've only seen being in sandblast and smooth finishes, never in a rusticated. They did not have a, a sandblast finish that I was able to see. Um, simply uh, the rusticated finish. So I wasn't crazy about that. The idea of buying a new pipe and then sending it out to get modified by having a band and a new stem put on just seems stupid to me. In any case, I had asked some questions in some of the groups and forums. And I think that's when I ran across Eric James. Eric, the blue collar smoker. Or I should say the blue collar piper. And Eric had mentioned, hey, maybe you want to go check out Merchant Service. You know, Merchant Service is the one who originally made the pipes from Bing. Um, if you look, sometimes you can find them listed new, sometimes you can find them for sale, used, you know, I would recommend Merchant Service. So, I look in the Merchant Service, and sure enough, there is Merchant Service still making pipes. I had assumed wrong that it's the same company continuously. Um, in essence, it's the Merchant Service, the next generation. Um, they are now making pipes. They are now located out of New York and their shape that they started it all off with was with the Bings. They've got two particular models of the Bings. The standard as well as the special. I do not have the special here right now. If I had the special with me right now, I would share it with you. I do own a special. But unfortunately, I was cleaning pipes one day and I had a bunch of them out and one of my dogs jumped on me and I dropped it. Broke it right at the shank, right there. Pretty clean break. I was gonna fix it myself. I had uh, simply dropped Greg a line on, listen, can I, what can I use to fix it? Can I crazy glue? Do I need to use an epoxy? What would you recommend? When I put the two pieces together, it was clean. I don't think anyone would know. It's anyone's going to know. Send to me. So I sent it off to him last month. I haven't pushed him on the issue because he's been a busy man himself. But I'm anxiously awaiting that pipe back. That is actually my favorite pipe. Pretty close between that and the large Canadian um, by uh, Merchant Service as well are my two favorite pipes. With these very, being a very, very close. These, when I want a quicker smoke, are perfect for that. So I had found these pipes. I did some research. There was not a lot on YouTube at the time. There wasn't a lot on, so uh, I seen a few of the videos. Um, um, everybody who had them seemed to like them. One of the reviewers complained a little bit about fit and finish. 
So that made me a little bit hesitant. That particular reviewer had a special. And um, it made me a little bit concerned that the fit and finish on the special was going to be as good as the standard. But I went ahead and took my chance and ordered a special. And then I got the standard. I got the special first, no. And then I found the standard. Um, one of the guys in one of my Facebook groups had seen my love for them and was going to put it up for sale and offered it to me and it was unsmoked. It was one of those pipes he had purchased and uh, never got around to smoking and said, listen, I'm going a different direction pipes. If you want it, it's yours. I'll ch charge you same price I paid for it shipped. Done deal. So, got it. Came to my house and that's this lovely pipe right here. Absolutely beautiful. What I love about these, you have a variety of various grains. Every pipe is going to look different, so that's what I love about their sandblast. Some of them have more of a ring grain, some have more of a flame grains. Like if we take a look at this, it's going to be, again, hard for the camera to pick up. But this is mostly kind of a straight grain, but you can see the, the rings in it there as well. You can see the ring pattern down from the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, I just go, let me do a close up so for any naysayers. Look at how tight that is right there. Extremely so. Perfect fit finish. So people all the time says, Ken, what are the pros and cons? I can't give you a con. The only con that I can think of for some people, and that's only in their minds, is that this is not a handmade artesian pipe. No, it's not. It's a production pipe. It's made in a factory. A lot of good pipes are made in factories. All the 7 Ls are made in factories, unless you're looking for super high-end handmade stuff like their autograph series. But people are paying more for for some of the Salvinelli's than you can get one of these for, which makes no sense to me. It's like, uh, I don't know, buying an Epiphone guitar when you can get a Gibson guitar at the same price. Uh, hello? McFly, why? Why? You know, why get a copy when you can get the original? Now, what do I feel about any of the artesian-made ones? Any of the ones that are handmade by any of the handmade pipe builders. I don't have an issue with them. In fact, I want to get a few. Um, but down the road, there are usually considerably more. I know of one particular pipe builder that uh, builds a bing from pre-turned, uh, from pre-turned, pre-drilled uh, stumbles that came from uh, St. Claude area, France. So, and this is not meant as an insult to this particular uh, pipe builder, but he's basically has bought this part from a pipe already pre-done, and he's finishing them. And they're selling them for more money than this. I get it. Everything's hand-finished. These are hand-finished. Um, old Briar, these are Old Briar. Um, I don't know if I could pay more for one of those than I would for any of these. It's one of my biggest problems I've had since getting merchant service pipes and I and I have the self-proclaimed apostle I've called myself many times um, is that it's kind of wrecked me for some other pipes. Anytime I want to go and buy a new pipe, I buy, if I do buy a new pipe, I'm usually disappointed and I'm kicking myself in the hand when it's like why did I just spend that when I could have just held off and wait to another release and got myself another merchant service or two? Um, so that's what usually happens. So now I primarily buy estate pipes if I'm looking at something. If I'm looking at something used or looking for a pipe and I try to find something that is not the same as anything that they have released. Um if and when they finally release their Holiday Inn Bing Pipe, which is the four-panel one, 
I'll probably get one in every finish and every color. Um, eventually, I was not going to get any of their smooth pipes. And then I picked up one of their smooth pipes, and I was just amazed at how beautiful it was. So I think I'll be getting natural smooth as well as dark blast smooth in uh, in this particular uh, shape. Uh, probably in the special uh, as well. Um, Greg, Len, if you're out there and you're watching, look in my eyes. <laughs> um, I want this in smooth, but in kind of a, a red high contrast, and that would look freaking amazing. Amazing. Um, actually, I could probably give them a whole entire list of wants, but, you know, they can't listen to all of their customers, even their crazy ones like me, who buy lots of pipes from them um, because they would go batty uh, but I know that uh, if Greg is watching this right now he's probably getting a laugh out of it and that was my intent these are wonderful pipes um, I would highly recommend to anyone who is looking for a classic shape that looks like a classic pipes from the 20s and 30s get this pipe mmm There is something about this shape, for me, that my tobaccos seem more flavorful. And we could argue that the length of the shank and of the stem may add a minimum uh, amount of cooling, but I would still argue that it does cool it, dries it out. And I'm just getting even more taste. You gotta re I smoked the Star of the East yesterday out of a dumb hill. Mm. Wow. I gotta show you guys this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, inhaled a little tobacco there. Didn't mean to. Yesterday I dropped it all over. This stuff, guys. Don't even think about it. Just buy it. It's that good. <coughs> It looks like uh, a little slice of beef jerky. <laughs> I should have brought something to drink. I didn't. My mistake. Usually I always do. We had uh, guests here a little longer today than, um, than I was expecting. So I'm a little bit later behind doing this today. So I kind of rushed to get it done before um, the sun starts dropping. I didn't want to bring out any additional light. So... <clears throat> My mistake. But this tobacco, with this pipe, I don't know if it really gets much better than that. I'm putting you down for a second, Mr. Pipe. I want you guys to see, though, I want to, while I take away from smoking there for a minute, I want to show just some details. And again, I apologize if this isn't being picked up really well. Deep, deep, craggy blast. I mean, if I did not see merchant service stamped on here, I would assume, who is that? I would as assume that these were vintage pipes or that uh, made by 
one or two other very famous pipe builders. They've got the look of one particular builder in particular. Um, to me, I see. I, I would almost expect a pipe that looks like this to be coming from like a Bill Taylor, a Bill Taylor era Ashtons. They've got kind of that look to them, especially when I see them in this beautiful tan. Here we go. It's showing a little bit difference in that subtle color. Stunning. Stunning pipes. They come from, this pipe has been only smoked, I think, once since I've had it. They come pre-carboned, and they come pre-carboned very well. Um, all of these pipes, for me, when I get them brand new, smoke as well as any of my broken pipes. They don't need a big carbon. I'm not a big one myself for big, thick carbon kick. Um, maybe someone here can enlighten me why they like thick carbon. Um, I don't know. I, 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 take, I try to keep my pipes pretty clean, so I don't like a thick kick. Probably nothing more than maybe a sixteenth of an inch max. I mean, not a lot. Um, I try to keep a bare minimum of carbon buildup in my pipes. I think it's easier to keep them maintained and better draw. Downside. You're going to have to get some long pipe cleaners. Um, I do not have to use a pipe cleaner in these when... When I uh, typically smoke them, not till the end. Unlike some bent shapes, I sometimes need to use a pipe cleaner because I'm a wet smoker. Not an issue with these. But you need a long enough pipe cleaner. These particular pipe cleaners came from uh, Blue Room Briars. Great bunch of people over there. Um, when merchant services in stock, sometimes they will have these styles as well as they are the exclusive for the new 1935 style. But these are longs. Longs, extra exorbitant pipe cleaners. Um, this was their 32 count. These are nice, nice, nice. Um, and these are made by BJ Long. Really, really, really nice. Don't know if you can see easily, because it's a straight pipe easily, goes in and nice thing about this, they're long enough where you got lots of extra room. I try not to, in this particular pipe, pull off the stems unless I need to, because I'm very hesitant. When I do, I grab it by the metal band, and I twist, 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 and I twist as I gently pull. I twist and I twist and off we go. Great draw on these. I mean you can just, I don't know if you could hear that, but just nice wide open, drilled absolutely perfectly. And again, when I back and stir it, I twist slowly, slowly. I twist till I get it nice and tight. I hold on to it firmly. I don't want to crack this. I've cracked one, and you can ask my wife. I thought I was going to have a heart attack on it. Oh, not good. Not good. So, I just can't wait till I get that pipe back. I enjoy it so much. It's one of my favorite pipes that I like sitting out here at night when I smoke a pipe long. Um, typically I'm puffing away because I'm talking. I have not learned, I think, that skill yet of keeping my pipe lit while I'm sitting here with the gift of gab. So maybe in future episodes I'll be able to. That is it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys joining me here on Merchant Service Monday. Um, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of my beans. These are three of my favorite pipes. The best way to get them is go to Merchant Service website. Get on their waiting list. You're not going to get a pipe if you're not on the waiting list. I'm telling you this right now. Don't send them an email. Don't try to give them a phone call. No, that doesn't work. Go on their waiting list. Once you're on the waiting list and there's a pipe drop, and if they're doing a pipe drop with the pipe you're looking at 
and it be becomes available, you're going to get an email notification. Also watch their Instagram account. So if you don't have their Instagram, definitely make sure. But you better watch your emails and better make sure their stuff isn't going into your spam folder. Because if you don't act on it, you're not going to get a pipe. And I hear guys complaining about that day in and day out. It's like, come on, guys. It's like that with everything in the tobacco and pipe business. If there's something desirable, I don't care whether it's Esoterica Tobacco or some of the other pipe manufacturers. They release a pipe or tobacco that we want. It's gone gone you know we are a breed of guys who will stock up on stuff we like and um, most of us are at that age where we've got the finances to be able to afford you know a pipe that's under 150 bucks I think their most expensive one is their natural and these naturals I believe the natural smooths are 150 um, I believe again all their prices uh, um, are up on their website when they are available. Um, great pipes. Highly recommend them. I can hear my neighbor's dogs barking. So on that note, you all have a great afternoon. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. And thank you again for watching another episode of Southern Santa Piper. Good day.